Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications for the kid. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out way more than you know. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button and drop a comment down below for the kid. But Without further ado, man, in today's video, what are we getting into, man? As you guys see by the title in the thumbnail, we got a care package, a package from one of my most favorite sponsors on the channel to date, Wild Hammer Motorsports, man. They're always taking care of the kid. If you need anything from cosmetics to performance parts for your Camaro or Corvette, Make sure you guys go to wildhammermotorsports.com. Use promo code JIWILD at checkout to save yourself some bread on either shipping or the total from the part that you got, whatever it is. It'll save you some money. And, you know, in these times, with gas being damn near $6 still for premium, every penny counts, man. So, you know, I'm always looking out for the JI squad. But with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and head to the JI HQ and pick up this package and then we'll go ahead and get started with this install and unboxing man let's get it oh yeah y'all yeah. real quick before i forget to mention so if you guys have been in the loop with all the vlogs and you know you watched all the videos then you guys would have seen the video where we went ahead and upped the sidewall from a 30 to a 35 in the rear on the tires and we went from the stock um Goodyear Eagle F1s to the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s and I must say you know I was very worried about having rubbing issues and fitment issues but the car does not rub it does not have any fitment issues the only thing that I will say I've noticed is at lower um, lower speeds on bumpier roads the traction control light does get triggered it starts to flash like uncontrollably as if it's you know traction pulling power but the car doesn't feel sluggish it doesn't do that thing where it feels like it's falling on its face because traction is pulling power from the car pulling timing and all of that but it's flashing crazy so I don't know if you know the fact that it's a bigger tire more weight um, on the you know more of a rotational mass I don't know if that's throwing off the sensor or what but just something for you guys to note when trying to you know achieve perfect fitment or good fitment on stock suspension by going with a bigger sidewall and the tire man just you know keep your eye keep just a heads up man you know you might have issues with the traction now, I know a lot of you guys probably just turned traction control off so there's always that but just wanted to let you guys know told y'all update y'all and yeah that's the update yes sir yes sir I think I know what that is <laughs> alright y'all let's go ahead and move Vader get started with this install slash unboxing man because i've actually been waiting for this worse well been wanting to do this to my car for a long time so i'm super stoked that i can finally do it again shout out wild hammer man i really appreciate you. matt and nicole i really appreciate you for real for real thank you guys so much for being a part of the team let's get straight into this anger man all right y'all let's go ahead get this joint unboxed man we the top 10, UGK the major, way not play it, it don't stop here yeah. Traffic lights, we going, know the time until the clock, no man Let's on roll, we doing digi to the whole block, clear Yo, what you got there? Whoa. Oh, did you not did hear? You and he's taking over and we got the whole got shop, the whole. yeah Her, she wanna know me better, but I'm on the top 10 Gotta match my energy, you see I'm in the top, yeah Alright, Ness, so we got the 
part in the hardware and the box is empty all right y'all so basically as you guys saw from that quick little unboxing today we have kind of i guess you could call them side skirts they're rear diffuser splats they literally just fill up this non-existent like flare right here and i really feel like it's gonna make the rear end of the car look way more aggressive and kind of add on to the 4.5 inch quad tips from the awe track axle back exhaust um as you guys know we have the 1le tri bar spoiler because it is a 1le um so i don't feel like a wicker bill would look as aggressive on this spoiler because it's kind of a wicker bill in its own uh so I don't know after we install these splats we'll see if i want to get the wicker bill and just kind of tie it all up or if i want to go with my gut and just replace the trunk and go with the trunk that i've been looking at so with that being said let's jack the car up real quick and get straight into this install all right as you guys can see i got the car jacked up right now honestly you don't need to jack the car up if you're on stock height the only reason why you would have to jack it up to be honest is if you want more room because you're filming like i am or is if your car is actually lowered so with that being said you're gonna get the car in the air right or whatever you want to do and get underneath the car and there's one two three four bolts right here that are along the diffuser you're gonna undo them i believe these are seven millimeter bolts they could be six mils um, we're gonna check you're gonna undo those and then you'll line up the actual you know extension and you'll go ahead and start putting the screws in so let's go ahead and undo these bolts and then we'll take the next step. five minutes later all right y'all just a quick before nothing here as y'all can see missing right after sheesh i'm not gonna lie definitely a very subtle touch but it definitely does look good I did have to finagle with the hardware, but I'll tell you guys about that at the end of the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the driver's side, drop the car down, and then we'll talk about how I was able to install these. I'll give you guys a quick rating on, you know, how difficult, how easy it is to install them on your car. So let's go ahead and just keep going. All right, you guys. So here you guys are. Here you have it, the final product, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I really like how they look. Um, I do feel like I need to adjust this side a little bit. I feel like it's just a little too close to that exhaust tip. Um, but this side came out pretty good. The gap is nice and even. Um, so I am gonna readjust that. But I did wanna talk to you guys about, you know, the install. Just a little bit of a heads up um, from my side, you dig what I'm saying? The hardware that's provided, I literally ended up using two bolts. One bolt for each side from the hardware that's provided. I went ahead and used the stock screws that were already in the diffuser. Um, now, one thing about these is the holes that are on the rear spurts, uh, splats, do not align with the OEM holes that are already in the diffuser. So with that being said, you are gonna have to finagle, you are gonna have to finesse, but trust me when I say it is definitely worth it because as you guys can see from that end product, we got the 1LE front splitter, we have the Drake dive planes from Wild Hammer also. Then we have the EOS Carbon Fiber ZL1 add-ons um well not add-ons but zl one style side skirt and then you have the rear splats sheesh so yeah man it it literally flows it's just the ground effects kit finally fully flows versus it just being the front split of the side skirt nothing there in the regular stock diffuser so i couldn't be happier um like i said i do need to adjust this one so i'm gonna be working with that um off camera for sure but 
this is what it looks like man y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you think do you like it do you not like it would you rock it on your car if you will if you want to wild hammer motorsports pops up on the screen right now ji wild promo code save yourself some money at checkout but yeah man i'm not gonna lie i like them i really think they look good i've been wanting to do this to the car for a minute it makes the car look complete as far as the ground effects kit goes um so yeah man I just need my front tires now and the aesthetic look, the exterior look will kind of sort of be complete, man. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all are thinking down in the comment section down below. I'm rocking with it, man, especially with those new 305, 35, 20 Michelin Pilot Sports, man. It's looking mad good. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, let's go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You know I can't end the video without giving you guys a start up with that AWE track exhaust. You feel me? So let's just get it one time. One time for the one time Vader. One time for the people. Send them home. Alright y'all, we'll see y'all in the next banger man, let's cap.